the Middle Ages were a period riddled with amazing times and cultures. One of these amazing things, feudalism, was covered in the last video on that very subject. Today we're talking about three more, the Crusades, the Black Death, and the Renaissance. The Crusades were a series of many attempts by the Catholic Church to take back the Holy Land from about 1095 to 1291 AD. Quite a few were launched, so for the purposes of this video, we'll only look at the most influential few. The First Crusade is perhaps the most well-known, and took place around 1095. The Byzantine Empire was needing military support, as the Seljuk Turks had taken Anatolia from the Empire. Pope Urban II sent a military to the area and helped take back modern-day Turkey. They even went further to the Levant, which the Seljuks had taken a while before that. They were once again successful, and established four Crusader kingdoms. These were the counties of Tripoli and Edessa, the Principality of Antioch, and the Kingdom of Jerusalem. However, after reclaiming the land, the military left soon after, making the area vulnerable. Shortly after the First Crusade, the county of Edessa fell. Pope Eugene III commanded that the kings of France and Germany headed the attack. It was a massive failure, and nothing of importance was achieved. The Third Crusade, nearly 40 years after the second one, was somewhat more successful, capturing the cities of Accra and Jaffa. However, it failed to conquer Jerusalem, the goal of the Crusade. The last crusade we'll be covering is the Fourth Crusade. Western European leaders, as well as Pope Innocent III, were planning on going to Jerusalem through Egypt. However, Byzantium promised them money and military service in return for helping overthrow the Emperor in Constantinople. They agreed and went that way. However, some stuff happened we won't get into and they ended up sacking the city. Eventually, the Empire got the area back under its control, but it further divided the Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox churches. The Black Death was the death of over 100 million Europeans in the mid-1300s, nearly half of the total population. This was because of the bubonic plague, and the incident is often referred to not only as the Black Death, but also as the Black Plague, Great Plague, or just the Plague. It is said to have origin in the Asian steppe region, which had been brought across to Europe by the Mongols. It was carried by ticks, which would infect rats, which would eventually spread it to humans. The Renaissance, meaning rebirth in Greek, was one of the most influential time periods of the modern era. Famous people such as Michelangelo, Raphael, Titian, Thomas More, Galileo, Johann Kepler, Nicholas Copernicus, and Leonardo da Vinci helped pave the way toward modern art and thinking. This nearly 300 year long period peaked around 1500 AD with most of those people I mentioned earlier living around then. Overall, the Renaissance was a period of culture rediscovering the ancient classics of Roman Greece. In conclusion, the Middle Ages were characterized by many things, but most importantly by feudalism, the Crusades, the Black Death, and the Renaissance, which helped draw medieval times to the modern day. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.